welcome back to another one of our taste test videos. Today we are doing another collaboration with the Review Crew. Yay! The theme of this collaboration is Rep Your Home State. So we went to St. Louis Drive-In for plate lunches because what's more Hawaiian than plate lunch? Okay, so I am going to put links to all the members of the review crew in the description box below. And so after you watch our video, go check out their videos because they're all repping their home state as well. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. But anyway, the thing that I like most about local Hawaii cuisine is that it's not just one type of food, actually. Hmm. No, it's like an amalgamation of all the different cultures and all the different cuisines of all the people who actually came here to work on a plantation. And that's what's so awesome about being here, yes. Exactly. So people don't know this, but a lot of people immigrated from Japan and China, Korea, the Philippines, and they all came to work on the plantation. And when they came here, they brought their own cultures and they brought their own cultural cuisine. Yes, that's yeah. awesome. And so the mix of everything over time has become what we now consider local Hawaii food. How awesome is that? <laughs> and tasty. And tasty. And what's more local than plate lunch? If you have not seen our other plate lunch videos, I'm going to put a link above and a link in the description box below, but you should check out those as well. If you don't know what plate lunch is, it originated also with the plantations. Hmm. Plantation workers would bring huge boxes, you know, for lunch and it's filled with rice and a huge amount of entree because they needed the energy to work in the field. Yes. So that kind of caught on and that over time became our famous Hawaii plate lunch. And nowadays our plate lunch usually consists of two scoops of rice, one scoop of macaroni salad and huge entrees. Yes. So today we went to St. Louis Drive-In and St. Louis yes. Drive-In is iconic in Hawaii for having one of the biggest, best plate lunches out here. And at an affordable price. At a really, really good price. Anyway, what did you order today? Well, I've got something I didn't even know existed, so I'm kind of excited. It's mochiko chicken, but it's teriyaki style. So I don't know if you can see this, but it's teriyaki yeah. mochiko chicken. I've that had mochiko really chicken, good. I've had teriyaki, but the two, oh my goodness, the two combined <laughs> is going to be crazy. How about you? What'd you get? It looks, oh, wow. I got the Japanese plate, the deluxe Japanese plate, and it has shrimp tempura. Ooh. It has mochiko chicken, Ooh. it has teriyaki meat, and it's supposed to have what we call sashimi, which is raw fish, but I don't eat raw fish, so instead they gave me more mochiko chicken. Ooh, bonus! Yep. <laughs> anyway, let's try it. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the mochiko chicken, and his is teriyaki. Yeah, teriyaki mochiko chicken. And you know what? His plate was only $10. Yep, that's what we were talking about, affordable yeah. folks. But look at this. I wanted to show you. Look how much chicken that is. Look at this yeah. huge, huge piece of chicken. All right, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, it smells so good too. Oh, oh my gosh, that teriyaki, it does smell that really good. sweet, sweet teriyaki. Oh, <laughs> give me that one. All mug. right, let's, ready? Let's do it. Mmm, so tender. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. The mochiko chicken is so sweet. It's basted so well because the chicken flavor is mm -hmm. so strong. Oh my goodness. And it's juicy throughout. And I was not expecting yeah. to have it just fall off in my mouth. And how's that teriyaki flavor? It is very good. It's it's sweet. It's a little bit savory with the chicken, with the, the glaze, everything, because it's kind of caramelized on there. And it tastes so good with that breading, the machiko breading. Yeah. It gives it a nice texture. Yeah. So mine is not teriyaki, but it still has a nice sweet flavor to it. It's really good. So the next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try their teri beef because you know, they, they are known for their, their bentos and their plate lunches and usually it always comes with teri beef, so I wanted to try it. Oh my goodness. How oh, that's it? very flavorful. It looked like it was very tender. And it was really tender. It wasn't like I had to like pull it. It was super, super tender. It's really good. Oh, wow. Now, I'm not into shrimp, but I'm kind of curious to know how your shrimp tempura is going to be. Yeah, me too. I am curious about that. 
So the only difference between the Japanese plate and the Japanese deluxe plate is the addition of the shrimp tempura. And I love shrimp tempura, so I'm gonna try it. Look at that. Look how nice it looks. And this is the local style tempura where it doesn't have like the the panko, you know, the, the yeah, yeah, the breading. It's the local style. This is local Hawaii style shrimp tempura. Now mm. while she's trying that, I, I don't know if you heard mm. that crunch or not, but that's how the that is. The tempura is always kind of crunchy, but the oh local style seems to have a, like a sweet flavor usually. Does that one? Mm -mm. No? No. This is very savory, but that oh. crunch is super good. I love it. And the, the flavor of the shrimp just comes through. It's so good. Usually when you eat shrimp tempura like this, especially local style, it's usually a little bit um, oily because of the way it's made. But this one is not. Yeah. This one is not oily at all. This one is super good. Wow. That crunch is That's just so really crazy. good. Really good. Really good. All right. So like I said, this was the quarterly collaboration mm -hmm. with the review crew. And after you finish watching this video, go check out their videos. Like I said, I put all of the links to their channels in the description box below. Go check them out because they have their own home state to rep. Yeah, and it's going to be very interesting to see what they choose because yeah. I know with our travels all over the U.S. and outside that there's so much to choose from. Exactly. That's going to be crazy. Exactly. So, so go check them out. But anyway, everything was excellent at yeah. St. Louis Drive-In. Absolutely. And while you guys are checking out the links <laughs> below... We're going to finish these. We're going to be checking out this plate right yeah. here. <laughs> we might be going back to St. Louis and checking out some more stuff <laughs> while you're enjoying the other videos. But anyway, if you are in Hawaii or if you are coming to visit Hawaii, please check out St. Louis Drive-In. Yes. They're an iconic restaurant. They have excellent food at a really, really good price. Yes, bring your hunger. Yes. <laughs> and bring just a little bit of money because you don't need that much. You don't need that much. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, go support them. Support our local businesses. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. Aloha. Aloha.